Garland! Papa. Son! Our troubles are finally over. We hit a vein of gold as wide as a locomotive that runs clean through Bear Mountain. Hey, Pa, where'd you get that? Isn't she a beaut? Yeah, can I hold it? She's one of a pair, only two in the whole world. Where's the other one? My partner Griff has it. We made them up special to symbolize our newfound wealth. Can I try it out? One day this fine weapon will be yours. But for now, why don't you take my old pistol? Go on down to the river and practice while I give your ma her gifts. <laughs> now don't henpeck the boy. Next trip into town, I'll buy you a whole bunch of new pots and pans. Red, up the hill and quick, boy. We're getting raided. I'm coming, Pa. The kid's down by the river. Go get him. Him being such a yellow belly and all. <laughs> <laughs>
There, uh, friend. <laughs> Come on over here. Come on now. It's too dangerous for a man to be walking around in these parts. I deal in weapons and goods, see? <laughs> but uh, the gang of ruffians done run me off of my... Oh, uh... Well, I didn't know... Uh, You're holding out on us, no. old man! I, 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 uh. <laughs> what the hell are you looking at? Fill him full of lead. <laughs> ah, ah. Uh. What you in hell? Some bounty for these fellas if you took them down to Sheriff O'Grady's in Widow's Patch. I'll be taking your cart. Uh, well, uh, sure, uh, whatever you say, bounty hunter. <laughs> Much for the lot. Well, you did good, son, but you're out of luck. Take a look around. There ain't much here. I got nothing to offer you. The ugly gang has done destroyed my town. <laughs> Let that damn dog go and leave himself all over them fancy boots of yours. <laughs> damn varmint.
looking at a dead man. Sheriff, you may have beaten my gang, but you ain't gonna get by me! in Brimstone. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> Sheriff Bartlett might offer you a handsome reward if and you can get me there. I'll send a telegram and tell him about your arrival. <coughs> It's a long ride to Brimstone, but uh, I reckon I'll manage. What you bothering me for? Sit back down. Bandits! Well, Bernie Hunter, if you want this train to make it to Brimstone, you better load up them guns of yours. Now this here's a robbery. Nobody plays hero, nobody dies.
Close. Hey, thanks for saving me. Here, let me patch you up a bit. There ain't no end to these desperados.
stop Brimstone! The Pan Atlantic Railroad Western Express is now arriving at Brimstone Station from Widow's Patch and Points East. You the bounty hunter? Sheriff Bartlett. I got your telegram. Mighty grateful to you. <laughs> I may have some work for you. Stop by my office later. <laughs> There was some fancy pants Englishman in town just the other day claiming he was a famous trick shooter. Offers $5,000 prize to the quickest draw in the territory. Title to be defended for the fourth year in a row by Mr. Kelly. Hey, you look like you've traveled around these parts. I heard you was the one that saved Sheriff O'Grady's life. Read all about it. Governor announces sixth annual battle royale. What can I do for you, stranger? Ralph Clover's the name. Yeah, when I get my hands on that prize money, I can finally get about doing that thing I was always thinking about doing. Now, what was that thing again? Howdy, stranger. Always nice to see a fresh face in town. You look like you could do with a bath, a soft bed, and the company of a fine woman. You look like you need a drink. What'll it be? If you're as good a bounty hunter as O'Grady says you are, you could help me with a couple of real outlaws wreaking havoc in my territory. It'd be worth a pretty penny to you. You might want to start with Pig Josh. He's one crazy outlaw and circus freak. Just be careful, he's got a hankering for dynamite. Oh, you might want to keep your eyes out for some English fella. He don't know what a motley crew he keep in company with.
excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I seem to have found myself in a most unfortunate situation. If you would be kind enough to help me. You ain't my problem. Indeed, sir. However, you might feel differently once you look behind you. I'm guessing there's more where they came from. That contraption should make short work of them. I'll cover you.
Thank you, sir. Your help has been immensely appreciated. If I can be of any assistance whatsoever, do not hesitate to call on me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a certain debt to collect from Professor Perry and his circus crew. Good day to you. Jack, what an unpleasant surprise. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Jack. Don't bet on making it out again. Over the lips and past the gums. Look out, Jack. Here I come. For a little pick-me-up, I think. My boys will keep you busy.
this excitement has made me quite thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> I've almost run dry. Okay, Swift, I've had enough of you now. A day's work. I only wish it were more financially gratifying. Well, shoot, mister. If getting yourself a little money's all you're worried about, then I know where someone with your talent could pick up $5,000 in gold without even trying. Pray do tell, young lady, and I would be forever in your debt. There's a sharpshooter competition in Brimstone. Winner takes all. Shouldn't be a problem for such a fine marksman like yourself. Well, Madam. Fresh off the press, Widow's Pirate saved by Limey. Professor Perry perishes at the hands of a traveling showman. If you can't find what you're looking for in Ralph Clover's general store, they probably haven't invented it yet. Not bad, bounty hunter. Not bad at all. Now I reckon you could really line your pockets. If you don't mind hunting down a woman. If you can call her a woman.
Coming, little man. You think you can handle taking on a woman like me? You either drunk or crazy. Is that any way to treat a lady? Beaten by a brave bounty hunter. <laughs> I reckon that old Bessie was a real handful. Take care of this last one, and I'll make it worth your while. Mr. Black, he's a strange one. Truth be told, I ain't even sure if he's alive. But he's heard a lot of good folks in this town, and he needs taken care of.
Your judgment day has come. Ha! 
Found and claimed on the most wanted head in the territory. I sell the finest goods this side of the Mississippi. On that there is no doubt. You're one hell of a bounty hunter, mister. You'd make me one fine deputy. I just want my money. From what I hear, the wagon hasn't arrived with the bank's gold. You'll have to take that up with Mr. Peabody, the bank manager. I just need one more week. I can pay you the $5,000 that I owe, but the governor is bribing my ranch hands to leave, and I cannot do it by myself. Well, why not just sell up to the governor? You could always move into town and work in the saloon. The saloon? How dare you? I just need one more week. I don't think the owner of the bank would approve. Well, maybe I can speak with him myself. I'm sorry, but the governor is too busy for the likes of you. To hell with that evil son of a bitch! He's mine enough gold out of Bear Mountain! What the hell does he want my damn ranch? Ma'am? I'm sorry, sir. How may I be of assistance? I want my money. We have a small problem. Then tell me about the gold in Bear Mountain that young lady was talking about. I'm sorry, I... Can't disclose anything about our clients. Oof! Then tell me where she lives. And when I get back, you'd better have my gold. <laughs> but the governor made us a better offer. Good luck, Sam. God, not you too, Sam. Keep 
you do oh, any better than that? You. Come on!
Do I know you, stranger? Tell me about the gold mine in Bear Mountain. I know nothing about a gold mine. You might want to take a trip on down to the saloon in Brimstone. It's always littered with a bunch of drunks yapping about it. But watch yourself, mister. You want no business with the folks in that town. This place is all I've ever known. Ma'am? Five thousand pieces in gold. This'll help me keep my ranch. in a fight, stranger. The only problem is you lost your gun.
Now the real show begins. Let's end this quick. The girls are about to do my favorite time. If you won't let us in, then we no! Don't ask dumb. Ow! Just run! Sorry, stranger, nothing personal. <laughs> You should mind your manners, mister! I'm over here! I'll teach cover. you to go poke at your oh, no. No. Not another time! <laughs> Dead man! Ow. Bounty Hunter. That's enough disturbing the peace for one day. Hand over the weapon. I said hand it over. <laughs> Fella such as yourself should know better than to stick his nose where it don't belong. Tell me about the one-armed man. <laughs> What's it to you? He killed my folks. Well, I'll be darned. I'd heard rumors you were alive, but never believed it. You're Nate Harlow's son, Ray. Tell me what you know about the death of my family. You see, it all happened about 12 years ago when the U.S. Cavalry made a little incursion south of the border.
Andale! Andale! This will teach those gringos to cross the Rio Grande! No uniform! He must be a spy. Bring him to me! Take him to the river and shoot him like a dog. No, no, no! I'm not a spy! I'm a businessman! Please! I was just trying to get across the river! Please! I have gold! Lots of gold! Haha! <laughs> you lied to save your pathetic life! No! It's true! It's true! I have gold! Bring him to me! It's lots of gold. More gold than you've ever seen. A gold mine. And it's just over the border in the territory. If you spare my life, I can give you half. Huh. Why shouldn't I take all of it? Because you don't know where it is. You better speak fast. We need some privacy. Now tell me more about this gold mine. Truth be told, there is one little problem. I only own half the claim. My partner Nate owns the other half. And what if I kill your partner? Then that would make us... partners. Partner. <laughs> Where would I find this Diego? He rides through the territory to deliver gold to the governor once a week. He rests his horses at Devil's Fork. It won't be easy. That wagon is like a fortress on wheels. The charges are dropped. If you reckon you can bring him in, dead or... Well, dead'll do. Much obliged. I'm always on guard. I paid my dues. Here I am getting a handful of pesos a month. And if it weren't for me, a treasure in gold could disappear. I ought to at least be corporal. I have to speak to the sergeant about it as soon as my shift is over. Out!
to the gold mine.
My father's... I have news. What is it, Shadow Wolf? Cousin Red is alive. I saw the devil Diego taken prisoner to the mines. You must help him then. Go, Shadow Wolf. But beware of the ghost devil. Beans left. See, but they're cold. Like everything up here. Uh. Not that the mine is much. Yeah. Uh -oh. Amigos? Uh. Uh. I'm hearing uh. noises. Uh. Ow. Ow. This is the end.
It's been a week since General Diego captured me. I don't know nothing about bounty hunting, but I've been a slave once, and I ain't gonna never do it again. Cousin Red? Shadow Wolf? I knew I'd find you. The blood bond between is strong. I'll go to Brimstone. 
I'll have the cavalry here in no time. Go fast, soldier. Unless we separate, we will have no chance for escape. I will go this way and meet you at Diego's fort.
Maybe you can use this key that one of the guards left behind. I think it opens the door that leads up to the fort. killing time since Mr. Kelly made us guard this hole in the ground, but it looks like things are picking up. <laughs> That's bad luck for you, stranger.
You going to Brimstone? Close enough, I suppose. The express road passes about a mile outside of town. Well, I gotta get to the governor so he can call out the troops. There's trouble heading from down south. Well, climb on back, soldier. Wagon full of TNT through bandit country. I see you. Off those General Diego's man. I hope you're a good shot. I think I was safer in that cell. We've got a ways to go yet. I hope we can make it to the canyons. Can't you go any faster? Think the next batch will come from the left again? You watch the road, I'll watch them. Oh, looks like I was wrong. Now they're coming from both sides. TNT? Why couldn't it be bacon and beans? Sorry I got you into this, mister. <clears throat> They're coming from the front now! Thanks! Things I do for the army. Look up ahead. There's too many. like the end.
Just keep driving! Looks like the end. Uh, don't give up! Brimstone's just about a mile or so down that way. Oh, sorry I can't take any closer, but there are some desperate folks in need of these supplies. Much obliged, mister. I'll make sure to tell the governor you helped me. There may even be a reward in uh, If it's you. all the same to you, uh, I'd just assume that Governor Griffin don't even know who I am. <laughs> Good luck to you, soldier. Governor. You gotta call General Bowden right away, sir. <laughs> Who let you in here, soldier? There's a renegade general on your territory. His name is Diego. He's running a gold mine, and he's using slave labor. It's a job only the U.S. Army can handle, sir. He has an army, and a fort, too. Well, thank you, soldier. Mr. Diego is one of my biggest contributors. I'm sure this is all a simple misunderstanding. But Mr. Kelly here, he's gonna take good care of you.
we wait much longer for the cavalry, they'll be rescuing our corpses. If we attack the Gatling gun head on, we'll both die. I'll draw the fire while you try to find a way inside the walls. There you go, catch it, come on! here.
shall be mine! Just like old times, eh, kid? <laughs> Many are the dead who have prayed for this moment. You have done well, Red, but his master Diego still lives. <coughs> That's Diego's war train. Go, cousin, finish what you have started. People now shall know of your courage, cousin. You forget how to use those rifles? I've had enough! A thousand pieces in gold to the man who brings me that gringo's head!
There's a lot of traffic on this here line today, ain't there? I'm heading into town to get this here gun polished. How about you? You can have it, if you spare my life! Uh, whiskey, women, fine weapons, anything you want. What do you say, partner? Thank <laughs> you. 
come to try your hand at the $5,000 in gold, I see. You're a man of few words. I respect that. I truly do. I believe you are somewhat acquainted with Miss Stokes. Did you find what you were looking for, stranger? I reckon I did. Do you see a buffalo soldier ride into town? That boy? <laughs> he won't be causing the governor any more problems. I do hope you're planning to attend the Battle Royale. I would very much look forward to beating an adversary of your talent. I just signed up. Oh, it's you. Well, don't get in my way. I'm gonna sign up for this battle royale. If the governor thinks he can scare me off my own land with hired goons. I had a run-in with a very unpleasant fellow by the name of Kelly. Seems to think he's the one to win this competition. Who's gonna win? Well, if it ain't the bounty hunter. Sorry, mister, but you're gonna have to wait your turn just like everyone else if you want a piece of the kid. Or will it be someone else? A, a late entrant, perhaps? Read all the speculation that's fit to print. Stocking up before the battle royale? That's a wise thing to do, friend. I guess you're here for one reason, right? You want to enter the Battle Royale. Well, if I was you, I'd get my affairs in order before you enter. Mr. Kelly has been the champion for four years now, and looks as if he's still the one to beat. Though he's definitely got a tougher time on his hands this year. Had that English fella, Swift, in here earlier signing up, and Annie Stokes wants to throw her hat in the ring, too. So, Red, what you gonna do? You want to enter the Battle Royale, too? He's killed so many men down south, he had to come up north to find some more. Senor Gabriel Navarro. Challenging him, a man of mystery. Some of you may have heard of all the recent bounty hunting he did on behalf of the town. Ladies and gentlemen, Red.
captured me, the Bruce. <laughs> I don't reckon he should be so eager to get himself killed, but rules is the rules, and there's no denying he's quick on the draw. He can't shave, but he sure can shoot. The challenger, Kid Cougar. Glad to see you made it through the preliminaries. Tomorrow should prove to be an exciting day. Ah, the bounty hunter that the whole town's talking about. What'll it be? In Red Mill, China. <gasps> Afraid I've had a little too much to drink. The fine gentleman behind the bar keeps serving a delicious elixir he calls the Red Eye. You won't win tomorrow. I saw you today and you were as slow as a snail with two bad knees. That was some nice shooting out there, bounty hunter. You got a steady arm and a good aim. Governor could use a man like you. Hey, sugar. Glad to see you made it this far. I got my eye on you now, honey. You do well tomorrow, and my oh my, we'll do some celebrating together. Semi-final round, we have a three-time winner and current champion, the sharpest shooter and dresser in the whole territory, Mr. Kelly. The brave soul challenging him is a man who's killed a lot of bad men around here and is looking to kill some more. Red. Due to the sudden absence of Sheriff Bartlett, I'm going to be stepping in to oversee this, uh, conclusion to the Battle Royale. Now, whereas the two gentlemen before us are clearly the best, I believe a change of the rules is in order. I hereby disqualify Jack Swift and Annie Stokes. The winner of this here round is going to be the winner of the Battle Royale. Well, Red, you're good. I'll give you that. 
But of course you'd have to be to live through what you did. Still, I'm afraid that we're gonna have to end right here and now, what we should have ended so many years ago. Isn't she a beaut? Yeah! Can I hold it? She's one of a pair, only two in the whole world. Where's the other one? The other one. The other one. The other one. Mr. Kelly. Please join me at the mansion when you've finally taken care of business. <laughs> Well, I guess I lost my chance at 5,000 in gold. A small price to pay to avoid shooting you, madam. <laughs> Jack Swift, you're just lucky to be alive. <coughs> Sheriff, are you all right? Oh, I'm all right. Tell me where to find him. His mansion. But it's secured like a fortress. It'll be hard even for a bounty hunter like you. He will not be alone. He ain't the only one who wants the governor. I reckon that their prize money is in that mansion of his. Anyone comes through that gate, you kill them. I don't care if it's your granny's ghost. You put a bullet between their eyes and you don't stop shooting that rifle until you ain't got no bullets left. You understand me? Let's see if we can find a way in that will attract a little less attention. I'll go around this way. I'm going straight in.
I think a frontal assault is out of the question. Suggestions? Follow me, and shoot anything that moves. Don't try and get yourself killed! Let's go to the side! This door is bolted shut. I'm heading to the second floor. If you see more of Griffin's men, you know what to do. The only thing left in my bag of tricks is to pick the damn lock on the front door. Think you two can keep me from getting shot in the back while I do it? Only one way to find out. I'll cover you from up here with my rifle. All right then, mate. Follow me.
go. That no good governor is gonna be sorry he burned down my ranch after I get through with this fancy house. I don't think the governor is going to be in a position to care about much of anything soon. Keep your heads down, boys! We should barricade the door. Secret door. That's the stuff. Probably leads right to the bastard. I'll keep these devils at bay. You see where that passage leads.
Until now, this has been the easiest duty. <laughs> Busted up the place something good. Found the keys to the whole place on one of them dead blue jackets. Still ain't seen hard no hair that sneaky governor though. Let's keep moving. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Ready to do some fighting? Just point me in the right direction, ma'am. You two go on and look for the governor. I'm gonna stay here and find Mr. Swift. I'm afraid the governor is otherwise occupied. Next time I suggest you make an appointment, only there ain't gonna be no next time.
You got no chance, son. Best you just turn around and uh, keep on going. Ain't no shame in cheating death twice. I've got some nitro I found there in the governor's office. You lay down some fire, and I'll take that gate right down. to put a bullet in that man's brain. Get going, bounty hunter. Stop him, you idiot! Regretted what happened back on your daddy's farm, Red. I should have been there to make sure you joined them. But lucky for me, I get a second chance. Never did like him much. Jack? Well, Red, I'm not saying Griffin didn't deserve it, but he was the governor. I reckon the army will be sniffing around here, and... Well, I'd hate to see you hang after all you've done. Five thousand in gold sound like a fair bounty.